seconds. Let me tell you, it is a sauna in here. <laughs> Minus the steam. Okay, what am I doing? What do you need? You need something, but what is it? I'll go back in on creasing with her. I'm not even sure how hot it is out today. It's hot. I need to clean my brushes again. Boo. <laughs> A little bit of thinner to loosen it up. This stuff gets everywhere. Jeez. And a smaller brush. Here we go. And for some reason, a big squiggly hair on it. Okay. Probably a mohair, because that was definitely not mine. I'll start the motion here. before it decides it wants to stay that way. You know, I finally get a brush in there and blend it out, and it's like, no, I'm, I'm good. I think I'll stay like this. I think I'll stay here. Were those stuck together? <laughs> Welcome back to my life. Nothing makes sense. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Enjoying the nice weather, even though there's not many places to go and enjoy it. All the things that, well not all the things, but a lot of the things that you think of doing for fun when the nice weather comes, you 
can't really do right now, or shouldn't do right now. There's this one park in town that I really like to take one of the babies to and make a video about going there, but it's a very big public park, which is probably one, legally shut down right now, and two, just not a good idea. Hopefully, maybe sometime this summer, I might be able to get out there. I have a bunch of, like, it's not really like a petting zoo, because you don't get to touch the animals, but they have, like, some animals that you can go see. Just nothing real fancy. It's, like, llamas. Or maybe they're alpacas, I don't know what's the difference. They've got like, turtles and bunny rabbits and pigs, which are kind of sadistically named eggs and bacon. I mean, eggs isn't too bad, but bacon. Can you imagine how that pig felt? It's like, oh, look at this nice home. We have everything we need. Look at this enclosure and all this space. Your name is Bacon. What? Starts freaking out, running around. They're gonna eat me! The other one's like, maybe you're reading too much into this. <laughs> My name is Bacon. has been multiple eggs and bacons over the years. They just keep getting new pigs and naming them the same thing, kind of like, you know, that goldfish that you had when you were a child that lived for like eight years. Lived for eight years. I'm implying that it didn't really live for eight years. <laughs> I guess when it really comes down to it, we can neither confirm or deny that bacon wasn't eventually turned into bacon. It didn't have to be bacon. Could have been ham. Pork roast. <laughs> Although I think we can safely say eggs was not turned into eggs.
after all of this is said and done, I mean, we have no idea what's going to happen from here, really. I mean, where I live, it gets shut back down. We're starting, we started to open up a little bit, but our cases have naturally started to spike a little bit. And, of course, you know, logic, logical actions will be to shut back down if the cases spike too high back up. Which people, some people are not happy about, but hey, like, what, what are you going to do? <laughs> you can either be an adult about it, or you can have a tantrum. But, if this does work, and we do end up being able to open everything back up, because of everything that's happened, I don't think... Many people, if any, are going to be able to go on their normal vacations this year because, you know, their work, they've had to be away from work, most of them, and it's going to be hard, if not impossible, to for the companies to give their employees vacations after this, because they've practically had a vacation already. And I know this doesn't feel like a vacation to people, and it's stressful, it's not, I'm not, you know, saying that, you know, this has just been a fun vacation for everyone, but in the scheme of things, but if we do end up getting everything open back up this summer, I'm thinking about, like, things that my family can do together in place of the normal vacation we take. Things closer and stuff like that. Things that we could do in a weekend. There's an emu and ostrich farm about half an hour away. That would be fun. <laughs> Why? Because I want to go see the emus and the ostriches. Is the plural of ostrich, ostriches, o ostrich eye? The plural of octopus is octopodes. And I don't think it is but I'm, I have an argument that the plural of platypus should be platypi. I'm pretty sure it's not, but it should be. Platypi. It just occurred to me, I can't remember, do platypuses, do platypi lay eggs? I think they might. <laughs> My random brain. How did we get here? My brain is like when you just leave YouTube on autoplay, you never know where you might end up. but for some reason with my creasing mix, it always takes so much better the second time on the second layer. Like on the first layer, sometimes it just slides around, and sometimes the color doesn't really take, but on the second layer, it's like, it really pops.
I guess it could be because sometimes my paint doesn't always get into the creases so much. I've been trying to work with that with some techniques. Trying to be more thorough with going into the creases and stuff with my other layers. Sometimes they can kind of get forgotten, especially the deeper creases. Okay. Where are we? Canada! <laughs> Where are you? Where am I? Who am I? Isn't that the question we all want to know? <laughs> Croglins gets deep. It just occurred to me, maybe I should try and set up my camera from this angle, because I'm left-handed, so half the time... What I'm doing is getting blocked by my hand and the paintbrush. some up in the crease of the eyelid, which is difficult on this kit, because she's got really folded up eyelids that are really narrow. I'm going to need a different brush for this. Ever since it got really hot, I've really been craving one of those fruit bar popsicle things. You know, the ones that we all hated as kids, but you know, when you become an adult, you're actually like, hey, that's pretty good. Or at least for me, it was like that. <laughs> normal circumstances, you know, I'd probably just go for a walk and get one at the corner store, however, I'm not sure if I really want to go to the corner store unless I'm getting something else. I mean, I guess it's probably okay, but I don't know. Okay, look at the difference between this eye and that eye.
basically just painting the eyelid at this point. Which is, you know, okay, it does need color, however, I would like to be able to just define that crease back there. But I guess it's already kind of defined enough without it. Okay, last part, the lips. Okay, there she is. She's really starting to come together. The green eyes that I was going to give her, I'm having a hard time with them meeting up with her eye socket properly. But I do have... I might be able to make them work if I can glue them properly, but I also have some backup eyes that I can use coming in the mail to me in a couple weeks. That might work better for her. And if not, they'll go to other babies. What you doing down there, bun? Oh. I'm too young to make those noises when I sit down. Hey, buddy, come here. No. <laughs> Meet me halfway. Oh, you're so cute. So soft, so fuzzy. And so hot. <laughs> hmm. You're drinking lots of water today, right? I should check and make sure that you're drinking your water. I don't know how to make you drink your water if you're not drinking your water, but I hope you are. We gotta get the bunny to cool down in this hot weather. Yes, we do. Hmm? Yes, we do. Oh, it's so cute. Anyways, ooh, we're going into the dark abyss that is the other side of the workstation cabinet thing. We got Fox, Luna, Erilyn, Rylan, which is basically non existent now. Sorry. <laughs> uh, anyways, that's all for today. Keep living the froglings life, and we shall see you tomorrow. Say bye, bun buns. Bye bye. Oh, it's your little one. Bye, everybody.